guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Brittany. I do a lot of different kinds of content on my channel. A lot of beauty, hair, wig content, some makeup, some fashion, some home decor, and anything else that I am just, you know, inspired to put on my channel, I put it on here. So if that sounds like something you would be interested in, please consider subscribing before you leave. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing 10 tips for decorating for Christmas, but this can be applied to like, you know, decorating for fall or decorating for spring or, you know, anytime. So, but I did wanna compile this list for you guys cause like, some of you guys probably already have your Christmas stuff up. I would have done that too, but I usually wait till like mid-November. I don't wait until like after Thanksgiving anymore. I don't do that. I need as much Christmas as possible. Um, so I wanted to compile this list while you guys are probably decorating or, you know, at least shopping around for your decor. So the first tip I want to share is, wait, first of all, if you like my hair for my wig girls, this is Sensational's Zelina in color Flamboyage. Flamboyage Auburn, which is very, very fall, very Thanksgiving. I featured her in a Get Ready With Me video. So if you're interested in, you know, more details on that, you can watch the original review from 2020 or the Get Ready With Me video. That will be in the description box or on the info card for you guys. So first tip is to take inventory of what you already have. And I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I'm re I am filming this video on November 2nd and I am going to take inventory of what I already have tomorrow before I go shopping. Just so you're not buying the same thing or you know buying the same thing over again. And you might already have a lot of the stuff already. So you wanna see what you have and then go shopping. But of course, this is all my opinion. Do everything your way but I just wanted to you know, share what I think. The next one, I would say be mindful of your storage before you go shopping. So if you, you know you have like a smaller apartment or a smaller house and you don't have a lot of storage, you probably don't wanna go and spend like a ton of money on a lot of stuff that's hard to store. Our house is not super big, so I have to keep that in mind as well. Um, where am I gonna put all this stuff uh, when it's out of season? So I have to consider that stuff too. Okay, next up, number three, I would say start a Pinterest board to gather inspiration. And that is what I did. Um, I did that for fall as well. Like I just, I watched a ton of videos on YouTube and then I created my Pinterest board. It's just a great way to find inspiration or, you know, new ways of thinking. Cause you can, you probably, of course you have your own style and you like how things are put together. But there might be some new ideas that you've never thought about, but you saw it on Pinterest and you might want to incorporate it into your decor. And that's what I've done this year. I watched a lot of people's decorate with me videos in their Christmas hauls and their fall hauls and stuff. Um, but you also have other platforms you can use. You can use like to know it. A lot of influencers like me and other people, they post um, a lot of inspiration on there for home decor and fashion, but I go on there for home decor a lot of times to find specific items because they'll have them linked to where you can shop with those. And the same thing with Amazon. So you can follow influencers on Amazon. They have shoppable content. So when they take pictures of their decor, you can, you know, shop those pictures. So I use Pinterest, like to know it in Amazon for inspiration. And of course, like TikTok and Instagram, like, oh my gosh, I use those a lot too. And I organize my stuff. So I just now organize my categories on TikTok and Instagram. So. I can reference them later. So I save posts when I like it and then I put it in my home category or collection on TikTok. Very helpful with decorating and gathering inspiration. Um, number four, I would say shop early or earlier. So I know people feel a way about people decorating before Halloween or even right now, but uh, before Thanksgiving and stuff. But first of all, let people decorate when they want to because it's their house and they paying for the stuff, okay? You don't necessarily have to decorate right now, but you can certainly, I would definitely recommend if you're looking for new Christmas decor that you go shopping earlier, but you don't necessarily have to decorate earlier. Um, because I remember in 2020, I was looking for this specific tree topper from Target and it went out, it was sold out for the rest of the Christmas season because I waited probably after, after Thanksgiving no all the good stuff is gone after thanksgiving okay so you need to get it like end of october into the beginning middle of november because that's when all the good stuff is there 
Target still has like these velvet ornaments that are beautiful, but those were like sold out in early October, mid October. So it's better to shop earlier, but again, you don't have to decorate earlier. You can shop earlier though. Create a shopping list. And this is the first year I'm doing that because I actually have a lot of Christmas decor because last year I really went in with decorating our living room. But this year I'm gonna be decorating my office again and for the first time decorating the kitchen. So I do need some new stuff. And so I wanna stay on track, especially if you have a budget or anything like that, you wanna create a list so you're not just like, ooh, let me get this, ooh, let me get this. If you are on a budget, um, I would recommend shopping with a shopping list, even if it's online, just to keep you focused. Oh, number six, <laughs> number six, don't sleep on stores like Joanne and Big Lots. That is what I will say about this one, like, I know we're so used to going to like Target and Walmart and stuff. Some people aren't even used to going to Walmart for decor, but Walmart has stepped it up. I did a Walmart Christmas decor shop with me video. They have some beautiful stuff and that was like two weeks ago. I need to go right now when they have all their Christmas stuff out because they have the best prices, okay? So I would really say go to places like Joanne because Joanne, Joanne Fabrics, they have unique stuff that you're not gonna see. Cause when I watch videos, I see a lot of people have a lot of Target stuff and I'm guilty of this because Target is amazing. But Target is not gonna have like unique stuff that nobody else is gonna have. Like the stuff that I got from Joanne, I didn't see it a lot in other people's videos and stuff like that. But Target is super mass produced and you're gonna see a lot of people with the same stuff. Rightfully so, because it's beautiful decor and I'm gonna still shop at Target for Christmas. But if you want unique stuff, go to offbeat places like, you know, thrift stores, Goodwill. Joanne has amazing stuff. And when I was home decor shopping for fall, they had like 60% off. So don't sleep on Joanne. And apparently Big Lots, I didn't even know they had like home decor there. So I got some last minute fall decor from there. And they're very unique pieces that I just did not see at other places. And I'm gonna highly recommend that you start at places like that before you go to Target or more expensive places like Pottery Barn and Crate and Barrel and stuff like that. Um, because you can get some really high quality stuff that is really nice from the cheaper places, especially if you're on a budget, okay? Even if you're not on a budget, I sh it's just like, it's nicer to get stuff for a cheaper price than just spending something crazy like on a like sixty dollars on a throw pillow or something like that places i would recommend to start definitely like tj maxx and marshall's because their stuff is pretty unique as well it's kind of to me it gives like thrift shop vibes because you you might see it there one day but the next day it's not going to be there so i love those places and they usually have really great prices you know tj maxx and stuff like that clean up your space before you start to decorate um i'm definitely going to have to do that i'm going to pack up all of my fall stuff first and then i'm going to start to decorate because it can be very overwhelming trying to bring in new stuff and your space is all over the place so definitely do yourself a favor and i'm talking to myself too Clean up your space first, maybe do that one day and then start to decorate the next day. Or if you do it the same day, clean up bef uh, right before and then start to decorate. It's just gonna make stuff a lot easier. Eight, number eight, to make your space cozier, um, I would recommend adding candles. Oh my gosh, me and Adrian, we love candles. We love seasonal candles. Um, I think I love seasonal candles more than he does. Love seasonal candles. So I need to re-up for my Christmas stuff, but it's nice to get your candles from like, Marshalls and Home Goods because they have a lot of DW Home stuff and they have really good candles. We went shop, me, my sister, and my mama went shopping at at home. Their stuff is really expensive. I got some, I got some really good stuff from there, but their stuff is super hot and they usually don't have coupons like that. So love at home, but they're expensive. So add candles to give warmth and that you know warm and cozy vibe to your space. Blankets for sure. Throw blankets. I've, I've tried some really good ones from Amazon, that black blanket that I mentioned in a favorites video. Love that one. Um, and pillows can definitely bring in the seasonal vibes with your pillows, your throw pillows. Buy pillow covers versus a whole new pillow. So when you are out shopping, look for pillows that have removable covers. Like you can zip them off and swap it out for a different pillow cover. Target has a lot of pillows that are sewn seams, so you have to, you're stuck with those pillows. And I made that mistake in 20, 
20 and 2021 when I was decorating because I would only, I would just buy a pillow because it was cute and I wouldn't look to see if it was a zipper seam or a sewn seam. Okay, so during Christmas, I'm gonna take off my pillow covers that I got. I'm gonna switch it out for Christmas pillow covers and I don't have to buy a new insert or a new pillow in general. I just have to pay for the pillow covers. And pillow covers are a lot easier to store than a whole entire pillow. And I learned my lesson. So from here on out, it's just gonna be new pillow covers. I bought some really good inserts from Amazon and now I'm just swapping out the pillow covers seasonally. So many people put me on after I was watching different decor videos and that is something I will live by now. Pillow covers over an entire new throw pillow because that saves space and money. And here's a bonus tip for you guys. Uh, when, when you're buying, like I said, when you're buying your pillows, look for the zipper seam so you can swap out the pillow covers. But also, always buy your pillow inserts two inches bigger than your pillow cover. And this is gonna make your pillows look more full and luxurious. And this was my first time doing that this year and it made such a big difference. So, if you have an 18 by 18 pillow cover, go with a 20 by 20 pillow insert. So it's gonna make your pillow look more full and just not look flimsy, okay? You know how it's like a waggy look when you have like a thin, like your insert is too slim for your pillow cover? Yeah, so go with a pillow insert that is two inches bigger than your pillow cover. I have different styles within my house. Like my office is very feminine and girly. I'm gonna do a pink Christmas. It's gonna look like a little girl's room in here, but I'm good and grown, but I think that's so nice and that represents me. So that's what I'm gonna do in my room. Downstairs this year, I'm gonna do more of a traditional color palette for my living room and my, and my kitchen. So don't be afraid of color. If you like color, go that way. Don't feel like you have to do an all white situation or just neutrals with your home decor. It's okay to like color, okay? And it's okay not to like color too. So do whatever is best for you because it's your coin. Okay. Those are my tips for decorating for Christmas, but they can be applied to like any time of year. Uh, share share with me down below and share with the rest of you know anybody who's watching this some of your decor tips that you would like to share in the comment section. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.